It's a child. Hi. Hi. How are you? I'm good. Are you a man or a woman? Why does that matter? Well, because you're in the ladies room. You just saw a portion of a video where a 24 year old cisgender woman, meaning a woman who was born biologically as a woman and identifies as a woman named J Rose was accosted by an anti trans bigot who questioned whether she was a woman who belonged in the bathroom. So she heard the woman venting about transgender people and gender identities and realized that this woman was actually talking about her, Jay Rose. For context, Jay had recently cut her hair very short and she was wearing a hoodie and sweats, which presumably made this woman think that she, that Jay Rose was a male. Now here's more of their interaction. Are you a man or a woman? Why does that matter? Well, because you're in the ladies room. Okay. And I have gotten called out several times for being in the men's room. Okay. And you're gonna be called out for whatever you're doing. So what are you identifying as to today? I don't think that's any of your business. Okay, it's not, so you're in the ladies room where I think I need to identify you. You do not need to identify me. Is that right? How old are you? Doesn't matter. Really? What were you doing in the men's bathroom, lady? Uh, also, how about just don't talk to people? Like there needs to be a rule. If you have nothing nice to say to a complete stranger, just don't talk to them. Don't address them, don't start a discussion at all. Like the balls on this woman to go up to another person and accuse her of, first of all, like accuse her of being transgender, not knowing a damn thing about her. And then essentially tell her that she doesn't belong in the bathroom because she's not the right gender according to this woman who knows nothing about this woman's gender. Like it's just, I hate everything about politics in this country because that woman has in her brain that the biggest concern is transgender people using the, the ladies room. Even if the person she's accosting isn't transgender and she has no idea about this person's trans, uh, g- uh, gender identity. I just, Waz, what do we need to do to get strangers to stop talking to us? That's like yeah, the number one crazy. concern. <laughs> it's crazy because, you know, some of the other trans fear mongering that they do, like say around uh, high school sports or um, college athletics or whatever, where they cherry pick these few instances where people who have transitioned. Are playing sports and whatever, like they they throw their pity party over it. At least it's like identifiable, where it's like, okay, that's a thing that's actually happened. Can these people show me documentation of people faking trans <laughs> identities and then being predators in public um, restrooms? Like this is not a thing. No, it's, it's not. never happened. So like, I don't understand whether like th- this is one of those things where I'm just like, y'all just making stuff up. At this point, well, the fear mongering is so effective. Like they don't even need proof of of concept. They just start crying about stuff. I just think it's fascinating how our government and especially the right wing politicians who engage in the fear mongering about various communities and groups of people, including the transgender community, like those Republican politicians are helping the corporate world rob that lady blind. But she's convinced that her number one problem is transgender people using the ladies room. So much so that she went out of her way to confront someone she thinks is a child, by the way. I think you caught that, right? She thought that this was a transgender child that she had the right to (laughs) confront viciously in a public bathroom. How about you mind your own goddamn business, lady? And by the way, I gotta give Jay Rose a lot of credit because she stayed calm throughout. She also refused to answer any of the questions about like, oh, you know, what are you transgender? What's your gender identity? She didn't want to respond to that. And she explains why. We'll get to that in just a moment. But first, the situation did escalate a little bit when Jay suggested that they wait for the police to sort this all out. So let's take a look at that. Yeah, because this is not that way you play your 
Go down on the strip and try to do it there. Don't do it up here. This is a suburb. Not allowed. Not allowed. Yeah, you think you're going to be a woman? Well, I, it's okay. And be a man? It's okay. No. No. Figure out your identity in your bedroom, uh -huh. okay? okay? And then project it on everybody else and we'll accept it. Uh -huh. This is not acceptable. Let's go get security. Yes, yeah, let's do the rest. She's harassing me for being in the bathroom. What's going on? Well, I'm asking her what her identity is. It's my girlfriend. So hold on, yes, woman. it's your you girlfriend. Yes, so it's yeah, a girl. Have to have Doesn't matter. Place. Christ. So the, oh the security God. guard actually removed her from the building. They're now conducting oh an investigation. God, dude. Yeah, so the, the lady was removed. Luckily, the security actually did something about it. Uh, and Jay Rose said that she didn't. Here's what she says in regard to refusing to answer questions about her gender identity. Uh, we were immediately separated once the video ended because she wasn't stopping and security dealt with her. She was kicked off the property for the day pending investigation. Okay, with that said though, let's go to the next video where she explains why she refused to answer the questions. And to the people asking why I didn't tell her what my identity was, it doesn't matter if I'm trans or not. I literally went in there to go to the bathroom to go pee. So the fact that she followed me into the bathroom thinking that I was a trans child to harass me and bully me out of the stall is unacceptable because I was literally going to the bathroom, minding my business. Yeah, look, she didn't owe anyone anything. She didn't owe an answer to that insane woman who's harassing her in a public bathroom at a casino. Like, I mean, I give her so much credit for staying as calm as she did. I don't know if I would have been able to maintain my patience <laughs> with this insane woman. But Waz, uh, final word on this. I will say this though, anybody who frequents most of 95, 99% of the casinos in America, if you, <laughs> you know you're entering the seventh circle of hell. So sometimes, you know, she was ready. You gotta be ready to stay ready, <laughs> right? Oh and the, the, the crowd at casinos, man, I'm telling you, it is, it can get so dark and depressing. So she probably knew what time it was and what type of spot she's in, man. I guess. I mean, I've been to casinos. I haven't been accosted We're not by about crazy the people. Win. We're not talking about the win. Andy. What are you We're trying to say? That I'm some elitist that only goes to the win? <laughs> I've been to the Golden Nugget. Who do you think I am? <laughs> Downtown Vegas is where it's at sometimes. <laughs> uh, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So yeah, you know, man, the shouts to this young woman though for keeping her composure for real. And you know, just the idea that a woman shaving her head makes her a boy is just, it's, we are just, we are just so far past gone. And also, if you see an interaction like this, stand up for your fellow Americans. Yeah. Don't let them get harassed by lunatics for like sure. that lady. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, I really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.